My name is Ann Hines, and I'm a visual artist, primarily a painter, and a collector of all kinds of objects in, from which I make uh, mixed media sacred art. Uh, I like to combine painting, photography, objects that I've found uh, during my walks, or one of my favorite things is using um, mint tin boxes of all sizes, uh, chewing gum tins. And I make these little into little mini reliquaries that support a subject that I'm particularly working on at the time. In this case, this is about the six weeks of Lent. And it's titled, uh, Creating Me a Clean Heart. And so each one of these represents a characteristic of what I think a clean heart for me could be. Um, I, I start out with an idea, I start out with some general objects, and then somehow it just evolves. And I'm learning to get out of the way so that what is overcoming me and guiding me makes the decisions. It doesn't always work that simply, but I have learned that it is a power so strong that I have been given uh, as, a, as a gift uh, that it's really a very strong leader, so I'm, I'm learning to, to make the best use of that. This piece is probably one that I get more comments on than any other thing I've done recently in a more contemporary way. This is a story about the gospel according to 3309 Elm Street, which is this building. This is the Continental Gin Company, but its address is 3309 and it's on the front door. And everything in this piece I found on the property. The photography is my photography from different, different wonderful objects and, and spaces around this building. And then I've embellished it with painting and other things. Um, it's called the Gospel uh, According to 3309 Elm is because I think this place has, for me, well, let me say it this way. When I first moved in here, I was scared to death of this building and, and being in Deep Elm. And as I have been here over the last three and a half years, I have grown to love every brick, every cracked board, and all the wonderful little things that go on that make up this building. And that's what I'm trying to project here. We have hallways where at certain times of the day, the light comes out onto the wood floor and it's just so reverent. Um, the, 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 the little objects that you find on the dock, I mean, just, just, they just become holy. And I have inside each one of these little tins a little, a little verse that says, that supports what I think about this building and how, how it has called to it very special angels to, who are artists to come and be here and work here. And um, this is the cat that lives here. This is Dali, and he's our, he's sort of our, patron soldier around here. He kind of looks out after us. Um, but inside I have little pieces of scripture or, or, or little philosophies. For example, less is more. And also I believe, one of my core beliefs is, uh, and I say it here, is that if you're an artist and you don't make art, then it's somewhere, somewhere it's going to come out bad in you. So I encourage other people all the time that if you're an artist, you got to be it. you got to do it. So this is, um, this is a great piece. I, I, I've had a lot of people comment on it. I think, I think it's kind of, it's kind of a little advertisement for this building in a certain way. But there are some really special people here, and some very special times, and we have a very special bond, and that's really what I've tried to, tried to present here. This piece is really more of a painting, although it is three-dimensional and it has a lot of found objects and antique wood in it. But it's about the 13th station of the cross. I was invited to be in a very small group show. 14 artists, each one selected a particular station of the cross, and it was for Good Friday. It was, it was, the show was just for Good Friday. And this, this particular station is when Jesus is taken down from the cross and given to his mother, and Mary Magdalene is with her. And I tried very hard to, as much as I could, project the emotion that each of them must have felt. Of course, Jesus was dead, but the mother is blue-gray, and she is so sad and so deeply moved. And then Mary Magdalene, if you'll notice, I tried to make her sad, but yet look ahead. 
look beyond. So that is what she's doing here. Um, I really, I really like this piece a lot. It, it, it says so much in a very simple way, and it, it, it combines my most favorite forms of, of art that I that I like to work with, and I think it's it's uh, I think it's moved a lot of people, and that's that's really what I want want to have happen when they see my art.